Hey, it's going to YouTube, so it knows best. You're here about to show you the Wired Magazine application for the iPad. Now, I gave you a brief glimpse of this application in my What's on My iPad video I did a few days ago, but some people were asking me to get a little bit deep into it because this is a paid application. It's about $4.99, five bucks. Um, so I'm going to go into it just to see that if it's actually worth buying. Now, first of all, it's a very nice presentation as a magazine on the iPad, just like a lot of other magazines are. And uh, we're located here right at the cover page or the title page of the magazine itself. And the one thing about having the content on an electronic device like a tablet or any type of other tablet out there is that you can embed video, you can embed a lot of different extra stuff with it you just can't find in the magazine off the newsstand. So right here from the, the get-go, this is a video I can actually start watching since the cover is, is Toy Story. They got some footage from the new Toy Story 3 movie coming out soon. And uh, so I can play that for too long. Uh, and, but that right there, and the quality is really good on it. It's very nice quality. It download the video downloads with the application, so it's not streaming the video. Um, so that's why it's a very nice quality. Again, the, the the even the advertisement here, I don't even mind at all because they look very nice and vibrant. And uh, also they got embedded video in here as well that you can actually play too. And uh, and the good thing about it, you got control over, it. so you can actually stop the advertisement if you see something that is boring or something you don't like. You don't have to watch the whole thing. But something about looking at an advertisement and this type of content in your lap instead of looking at it on the TV has a little bit more personal experience. Um, now you can also uh, navigate through this application. It has two different ways to navigate with it. You can hit the top right hand corner um, of this thing here and hit the little button there. And you can also navigate through the articles just by looking at the little icon for the main article. Um, and also the title of the article if you're looking for something very nice and quick and easy. Now, but also you can also navigate hit the top right hand corner of this. I think I said right hand on this one, but that's left hand, but the right hand corner. Um, and you can navigate this view, which you can actually see a little brief little glimpse of the uh, article. Plus you can also see um, you know, whether it has multiple pages or not. And that's one of the gripes I do have about this application, which I hopefully they can fix. It's not a uniform way to let you know that you have um, an article or you're reading an article that has you know multiple pages so just like this if I just swipe in along just like this I would probably read this unless I know or give it any indication I don't know whether whether it has another page or not I wouldn't know so I wish it had like a little universal arrow button there or something like that so I can know that I need to scroll down um, you know to actually see more of the content there but um, let me go to the main uh, I'm going to the main story here uh, which of course is Toy Story like I said before Let's see if I can find it here. All right, there it is. All right, and so this is the front of the article. And this, again, it just everything looks looks really clear and really vibrant on this thing. And that's more of a testament to the screen as well as far as the content as well too. And uh, so again, we have some more embedded video right here in the article. The consistently successful movie studio in the world. One of the best kept secrets, the building's layout. In the late 90s, Pixar CEO Steve Jobs had the cafe built in the central atrium. And it's just, you know, I read, I've read the article, but just having this video here is just like a bonus content to it. And, um, you know, it doesn't always have to be video. It has different things you can navigate just like so, like this and stuff. And uh, just something you just really can't do with the magazine and covering the magazine. And also, we've got some more embedded videos. So that's just showing how a scene was made. You can actually play the video right here after it. And it just, I mean, really just a, 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 a nice presentation. So without that thing, just the only really thing I don't like about it, just not, not a universal way to know it has multiple pages, but this is a feature of magazines, and I think it's definitely worth it. They haven't come out with the subscription model or the pricing yet as far as where they're going to go from now on. The editor has said that he's going to listen to the market. He's going to listen to us to see what we actually want and pay attention to that. So that's a good thing. And uh, so $4.99, I think it's either cheaper than a newsstand price or about the same price. So it's not bad. You definitely get more content for the buck here. And uh, we, can, we can't wait to see more magazines like this in the future. All right, so you know it's best, sir. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.